going on guys today is wednesday july 17th hey i have this car follow me i have this house follow me let me show you how you can make 10 grand a month let me show you how you can make 50 grand a month i'm making 50 grand a month it takes time everything takes time stop looking for the fast out when i think about story i think about long game right Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday, July 17th. And um, my name is Hassan Al Sadiq, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, check out a video or something. And if you like what you see, subscribe. Today um, on the agenda, Right now it is 7.01 a.m. here in Cartagena, Colombia. And on the agenda today, we have our first meeting. If you don't know, or just let me give you a brief update. I own a startup, it's called All Dreams, and I'm building this startup. And I got into an accelerator program called Founders Go Big. And I have my first meeting with my entrepreneurial residence today. And of course I document everything. So I will document that if it's something that I can share, I will share it, uh, the, you know, the meeting. And then, so you can get some value from it as well. If you're trying to build a startup. Um, so I have that, um, of course, we're going to go to the Bahia and take a walk. I want to touch a little bit more on the origin story. I dropped uh, a video yesterday talking about part one of the hero story framework and that part one is your origin story. So I want to go to the Bahia, uh, to the Bahia or the Bay and uh, on my everyday walk and talk a little bit more about that. I want to flesh out um, a couple, you know, a couple of things. And because one of the things is, one of the things is this, like, um, people are going to say like, because everyone want, wants money. We all need money. I get it. But everyone nowadays in this internet age and fast society, everyone wants the fastest way to get to someplace and i get it i really do i get it we all have responsibilities we all have bills we all need to eat all of these different things and um we need to be able to take care of ourselves when i think about story i think about long game right even when i think about youtube i think about long game yes you can start a youtube channel and you can make entertainment content about celebrity, you know, you can make travel content that's, you know, shock value. But I personally believe that the framework is starting with your story. I think that's where the currency is. Now, how can you monetize it off of your story? It's many ways you can do that. And we'll talk about that today as well like monetizing off your story so you start this origin story you go through this framework and then once because the hero story is actually five cat is like five different parts or whatever and part of it is being able to monetize off of that hero story that you're building so we'll talk about that as well today um Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my emails and then um, then we'll go to the Bahia and uh, finish off the video. Oh, I want to mention one thing about living in Colombia, right? So this water, this water costs one peso. I don't know how much one peso is in comparison to USD. It's really, really cheap. When I left Atlanta, when I left Atlanta, I was paying $40 for a haircut. So yes, I got a haircut. I got a haircut. And when I left Atlanta, I was paying $40 for a haircut. I talked to my homeboy. He says he's paying 
$50 for a haircut and some people are paying upwards to $100 for a haircut. I think I got a really, really good haircut. And I got it from my neighborhood, the Barrio, from uh, the barber in the Barrio. And guess how much it costs? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> drum roll, drum roll. 15 Colombian pesos. Quince. Quince Colombian pesos. Bro, at 15 Colombian pesos, I can get three haircuts a week and still be in budget. <laughs> Taking my walk on the Bahia today. Um, I wanted to come. I'm doing these day in the life videos, like I said uh, in the earlier video in my uh, office. I have a meeting today with the Founders Go Big. It's my first day of the program. If you don't know, I have a startup called All Dreams that I'm building. And um, I got into a program to help me accelerate my startup so i have the first meeting with my entrepreneur in residence today and um i'm really sticking to this routine you know one thing about this being here i always get into a routine it's really like i think i'm gonna call this hakuna matata which means no worries right because i get into this routine and i just get so much done and in the process, I'm so creative. Earlier today, I dropped the video, part one of my hero story framework. And one thing I know, I think it might go over people's head because I think everybody wants to make fast money. I wanna talk about that real fast because everybody wants to make fast money. And that's why they're doing multiple different things. Most people don't understand how much their own story is their currency. So people start a YouTube channel or they wanna start these faceless YouTube channels. But one thing people have to understand is even if you start a faceless YouTube channel, it's not guaranteed to blow up fast either. So you might as well work on your own story and tell your own story and build your own hero story instead of looking for something fast. Nothing happens fast. Let's talk about Amazon for a second. Amazon was not profitable for so many years. People wrote that company off for so many years. Now it's a conglomerate, one of the biggest companies in the world, right? So. It takes time. Everything takes time. Stop looking for the fast out because you want to um, get something fast. And most of the time, you know where the, where the fast, where, where that mindset comes from, trying to do something fast, is because you put yourself in a bad situation. You are living above your means. So, yo, damn, I have to pay for this car. I have to pay for this house. Don't put yourself in that situation and you can build up to be what you're supposed to be. Now, in this hero story, how do you make money off of your story? So many ways you can make money off of your story. Let's start with building a genuine, authentic YouTube following that's following you because of you and your story. Not your niche, but your story. And the things that you are doing and putting into the world right that's the first one make money off of your youtube channel but again that's going to take time it's going to take time the one thing i love about youtube is this you have to nurture it right and it's humbling it's humbling man i put out videos 20 views i'm like damn that's such a good video it's value in that video 20 views it's humbling right but you have to keep going. But the thing I love about YouTube is that you don't get 
anywhere fast on YouTube, right? Um, a thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours. It takes time. And I think that was I think that was a great business model because the people that's not going to really put in, they won't get rewarded, right? That's a good thing, I believe, because it, it, it is nothing fast in the world. You build this channel, you build your life around this around around you and your YouTube channel and the value that you could put into the world. Man, that's <laughs> I think that's dope. I think that's really dope. Um, so one, yes, you can make money through YouTube if you build your channel the correct way. And I would say use my hero story framework to build your YouTube channel the correct way to get the ideas to flush out your story. Two, what if you want to be a speaker, right? You can be a speaker. Say you went through something or you have experience in something. You can motivate people. Boom. There it is. You could be a speaker. Three. You could start a company, you could start a brand, right? Once you have this following, you have these people that are into what you're doing, you could start a company, right? So these are just, and it's, and, but it all starts from story. It all starts from story. Um, the one thing people have to realize about, about story. Nowadays, everybody has seen fly by nights, right? Everybody has seen um, people that have scammed and people that have came and gone people that had motives just to get on online and get people for money because they're great talkers and they have this charisma and shit like that the thing about building your hero story you're building connection to you right you're building you know you, you're building people are seeing you authentic you understand not, yo, I'm trying to sell you something. Not, I'm trying, you know, I'm doing this and I'm doing that or whatever. Hey, I have this car, follow me. I have this house, follow me. Let me show you how you can make 10 grand a month. Let me show you how you can make 50 grand a month. I'm making 50 grand a month. All of that shit is bullshit. I promise you. All of that shit is bullshit. If you take it slow, you build your hero story, you'll get wherever you want to get in the world. But that's where it starts. That's where it starts. So I just want to say that um, on my... Akuna Matata walk, <laughs> no worries, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out the problems, but that's what I have to say uh, today. Um, you know, you have to build out your hero story framework. Um, go watch part one of that. I think that can help a lot of people. It can add a lot of lot, lot of value to people. Yeah, start on the yeah. yeah, it's like double, it's triple, triple San right. Fernando. Right. The yeah. race. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely higher over here. Yeah, because family is, is is in level two. This right. is level six. This is level six, okay. Yeah, because I know, I know, I, I stayed, when I first came here, I stayed at a uh, condo over on, in Boca Grande. Airbnb? No, 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 it was a private, it was a private rental. She went on, she went on vacation, so I grabbed it. Cool. She went to Spain or something like I that. I got so you. I grabbed it for like two months. Did you have to, was the bills included or not? That's what I was about to say. Like the electric bill was super high. Super hot. Super hot. I mean, it's out, it's crazy. Yeah. It's doubled since I've been here. It's crazy. But um, yesterday I got a, I got a haircut in the barrio, and I know my friends back home in Atlanta are saying they're paying between fifty dollars and a hundred dollars for a haircut. My haircut costs. Kinsey Mill face. Kinsey. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Three dollars. No no. Kinsey. Four dollars. Hey, I was good. <laughs> and, um, and the primos, yep, they'll do it for the ace. See. The ace. But yeah. with, with Pepina, can't say. Right, right. So. Did you get a little fade? Got a little, you know, got a little, little something. A little fade? A little fade, you know, a little taper on the side, you know, got my beard done and everything. There you go, can't beat that for Kensei Mill. Kensei Mill face, so that's what I said. Yeah, Buckhead. That's seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars. Which lowest in Atlanta is gonna be fifty. Fifty, and that's without tip. That's it. That's that's lowest in Atlanta right now. Fifty dollars plus tip. Yeah, plus yeah, exactly. But because my plus sister tip. has a salon, right. she makes some days. She makes as much in tips. She's been doing it for thirty years, but you right. know, she so she's got clients. She'll make 
unbelievable just in tips. Right. So, yeah, I told her, yeah, look, I, I said, man, I can come back and do this like two or three times a week to stay short. <laughs> two or three times a week or month? No, a week. A week? To stay short. That's okay. No, so two, at least, at, at least twice a week. Okay, twice, okay. At least twice a week. Remember, Friday, right. you yeah, you're single. Right. I'm on camera, I'm filming, so that's true you too. Don't want to be short. That's true. So get it on Friday and Monday. Yo, I literally missed my meeting. I hope I don't get kicked out of this accelerator. What the fuck? Because of the time zone. I'm an hour behind. <laughs>